Factsverse presents Surgeons spot a tumor on a man's lung, and they cannot believe what they found. As a child, chances are you were told over and over and over again not to put things in your mouth. Well, if you have children, chances are you've told your child over and over again not to put things in their mouth. And as a parent, you worry that your child is going to put something in their mouth that's going to cause them to choke or get sick. It's a very common fear as a parent. Well, a man named Paul Baxter, he knows this fear all too well, but he didn't experience a frightening moment with one of his two children. It was something he experienced himself. When surgeons spotted cancer on this man's lung, they cut him open, but you won't believe what they found. We'll let you know in just a moment. First, click that like button to help us spread the word about Faxverse. And also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Paul was suffering from a chronic cough. He had the cough for about a year, but he never went to see the doctor about it. He assumed that it would just go away on its own. Well, finally, his wife insisted, so he made an appointment with the doctor. He told the doctor that he was a heavy smoker, so they ordered an x-ray. And when they got the results back, they saw a dark mass that looked like it could be a tumor in his lungs. Paul, of course, was terrified at that news. Who wouldn't be after hearing that there could be a tumor in their lung? Well, the doctor decided to perform surgery on Paul immediately. They needed to get a good look at this tumor to see what it was that they were dealing with. The doctors told him that once they removed the tumor, they would need to then perform a biopsy to find out if it was cancerous or not. Paul's life was spinning out of control, and he and his family were nervous. Well, finally, the day of the surgery arrived, and the doctors performed the operation under local anesthesia. When the doctor got in and they saw what was causing the issue, well, he couldn't believe his eyes. Paul didn't have a tumor at all. The doctor pulled a Playmobil plastic toy cone out of Paul's lung. He didn't have cancer at all. Since Paul doesn't play with toys on a regular basis, the doctor assumed it had to have been something that was in his lungs for over 40 years since he was a child. The doctor told Paul he must have inhaled the cone and not swallowed it. If he'd swallowed it, eventually it would have come out. The doctor believes that after inhaling the toy, it became lodged in his lungs. When the doctor removed the cone, he couldn't believe what good condition it was still in. He could even see the markings on the cone still. Because Paul was so young when he inhaled the cone, his airway actually adapted to the presence of this foreign object because he was still growing. It's the only way that he went all those years without knowing that he had something lodged in his lung. When the doctors told Paul's wife and family about what they'd found, his wife first thought that he was joking. When she found out that her husband did not have a tumor, she didn't care if he was joking or not. She was just thrilled her husband was safe. Paul says that his cancer scare made him finally decide to quit smoking anyway. He believes that he got lucky this time. The next time, though, he might not be so lucky. Paul's wife posted this story of the toy in her husband's lungs on social media, and shortly afterwards, the post went viral. All over the country, people were sharing the story. People were amused because what the doctors thought was something terrible turned out to be something kind of funny. When the local news heard about the story, they did a segment on Paul and his tiny traffic cone. Now, Paul says it's pretty scary to think about the damage that cone could have done to him as a child. The fact that his lungs formed around the cone was, in his opinion, a miracle. He says if people are going to take anything away from this experience, it's to be sure to not let young children play with toys that'll fit in their mouths. He was pretty lucky. He says that not everybody would be that lucky. He says that parents need to pay attention to what their children are playing with and what goes into their mouths. Have you ever accidentally swallowed a toy or other foreign object? Tell us about it in the comments below and subscribe for more.